Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Brittany and this is Under the Radar Books. Today I want to talk about my January TBR. And so to start things off, I'm going to mention the books that are going to be in the TBR Takedown 3.0 that I'm participating in next week. And I'm not going to do any descriptions about them because I do have a video that talks about them that I will link down below. But those books are Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. All This Has Nothing to Do With Me by Monica Sabolo. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Lock and Key, Volume 2, Head Games by Joe Hill, and Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. So if you want to know more about those books, go ahead and check out my previous video. And then the other books that I'm hoping to get to this month, um, one of them is a buddy read. And I'll be reading this with Lauren over at Lauren and the Books. And we are going to be reading The Gracekeepers by Kirsty Logan. Uh, last month we read her short story collection, The Red Doll Heart and Other Fairy Tales, and loved it. So we decided to keep going, and I'm so excited to pick this up. Um, I actually have this in the UK cover, and I love it so much. I got this from the library so the other one doesn't get ruined. So I can't wait to get started on this. This is kind of like a dystopian book where there are some people living on the land and some people living on the water. The people who live on the land are called landlockers, and the people who are in the sea are called damplings. And I believe the main character is involved in some kind of traveling circus. Anyways, it sounds really whimsical, um, just super wonderful and like something I'm going to love. So I'm so looking forward to this. I've been looking for something that, spills, that will fill the void that the night circus left in my soul and I have a feeling this might do it. Next one I really want to get to is The Blue Girl by Lori Foos. And um, I know a couple of my booktube friends read this last month. Um, I think I first heard about this on Jen Campbell's channel, which I will link down below. And this is a magical realism tale about a blue girl. And the back says, In a small lakeside town, mothers bake their secrets into moon pies they feed to a silent blue girl. Their daughters have secrets too, that they can't sleep, that they might sleep with a neighbor boy, and that they know more than they let on. But when the daughters find the blue girl, everyone's carefully held silences will shake loose. Anyway, so this just sounds brilliant. It's pretty short and I can't wait to pick it up. I also would like to get to two graphic novels this month. Um, the first one will be Saga Volume 3. Um, I'm enjoying Saga so much. I know you guys probably know what it's about, so I'm not going to go into anything in depth. Um, I have heard that this isn't the best in the series, but I still, of course, want to continue with the story and see what happens. The other one that I really want to get to is Pretty Deadly Volume 1, and I've seen this on a lot of people's channels recently. It was included in Camille's um, Top Books of 2015, which is amazing. I love Camille's point of view, and I love the books that he reads, and so I'm really, really excited to get to this. Um, I don't even know what this is about. I do really enjoy the artwork. Um, it looks almost like a gothic kind of western. I'm, I don't really know what it's about, but... Um, I've heard so many good things about it and I'm going to go into it blind and hope that it really surprises me and, and, that, and that I love it. And uh, second to last on my TBR is The Library at Mount Shar. I've been wanting to read this for so long, um, even before it came out. And I've heard that this is really, really bizarre and just kind of out there and experimental, which I tend to enjoy with literary fiction. So I really want to get to this one before it is due back at the library. And the last on my TBR is going to be my book to recommend. So I've put all of my um, books people have recommended for me in this jar, and I'm going to be picking one at random. Let's see. Oh, that's really small for my fingers. Okay. So I have chose The Interestings by Meg Wolitzer. And this was recommended by Olive over at A Book Olive. I will link her channel down below. She's so brilliant. Please go to subscribe to her channel. And um, I am so excited to get to this one. I've, I've owned this for years and haven't picked it up. So I can't wait to read it and talk to Olive about it. So if you guys could please let me know what you're going to read in January, I would love to hear it. And if you've read any of these or have any opinions about them, I would love to hear that as well. So please leave me some comments down below. And I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. And until next time, happy reading.